Today we're gonna take another look at 3D code. In our last video, through the comment section, most of you guys shared the sentiment that 3D code is an awesome tool for sculpting and texturing. Some people even compare it to ZBrush, but everyone agrees that it is underappreciated for different reasons. So today, we're gonna talk about its major features, especially in this release. Also, how can 3D code help you in your work, and why even if you use another software, you should probably incorporate it into your workflow to a certain extent. So let's start with the basics. 3D Code, developed by Pilgway, the Ukrainian-based studio, is a unique all-in-one user-friendly 3D sculpting and hard surface modeling software that also allows you to texture, paint, and render your scenes and even animations with an intuitive interface and workflow which draws a lot of similarities to ZBrush. The great thing is, 3D Code costs half as much, and you can get it with a one-time purchase. That's right, you don't need a subscription to use 3D Code. If subscriptions are not your thing, then this will be definitely for you. From its release year in 2007, it saw a lot of improvements, making it a really viable option for all artists, seasoned and beginners alike. Most of the time, when this type of software gets more functionality, this will translate to more buttons and menus, which 3D Code has a lot of. But the team tried to clean the interface considerably and made everything make sense for people who aren't technical. On the other hand, 3D Code can do a lot of things while you don't have to understand every single thing to be able to use the software or for it to be useful to you. For me personally, I like it a lot when it comes to sculpting. As far as DCC software go, 3D Code can basically do it all. As I mentioned before, it is a great sculpting tool. It has a very powerful voxel-based sculpting engine, which is getting better and better with new features with every release. But it is also used for UV editing, texture creation, retopology, rendering, and also has really good polygon modeling and even kit bashing tools in addition to other stuff. 3D Code uses something called voxel sculpting which uses volume instead of polygon meshes. Voxels are like the 3D equivalent of pixels. You can think of them as tiny cubes stacked next to each other. This will give you a huge advantage when it comes to sculpting, as you don't need to worry about the topology, which can be altered continuously during the sculpting process, not to mention the complete freedom over form and shapes. Working with voxels also make it very easy to make prototypes of meshes of any size or shape, as well as amazing boolean operations all without any performance hit. The Surface Mode Brush Engine, which was introduced in the previous 2021 release of 3D Code, was a big deal. It provided far more control and customization than what was previously available. This includes modifiers that you can apply to your meshes to alter the behavior and the effect of the brush, such as extrude, clay, pinch, relax, rotate, etc. These modifiers can also be mixed and stacked on top of each other to produce some interesting results. But the great thing is, this level of customization is now also available for the Voxel engine. With this 2022 release, the Voxel engine is incorporating much of the functionality that you used with the Surface Brush engine, except for some modifiers that remain exclusive to the Surface mode. Usually Voxels are used for rough sketches and the first stages of your sculpting process. It gives you a lot of freedom but a lot of fine detail. You probably want to go with the surface mode. Sometimes, the voxel sculpting aspect of 3D Code overshadows its robust and powerful sculpting mode. 3D Code has great surface sculpting tools and brushes, and now you can actually use both at the same time depending on the one you pick whether you are using surface or voxel brushes. I think what sets 3D Code apart from other 3D software is its unique way of approaching sculpting and modeling. However, this sometimes causes confusion as 3D Code has a bit of a learning curve, especially for beginners. But I think it's not that big of a deal if you are coming from other software such as Blender or ZBrush. Furthermore, another reason why you should incorporate 3D Code in your workflow, aside from the amazing sculpting tools and brushes, is its outstanding retopology toolsets. I would argue that 3D Code has one of the best retopology solutions out of all the 3D software out there. And with this latest release, the retopology workflow has gotten even better with the improved auto retopo, and now it produces even better results when dealing with organic and hot surface models with a ton of controls, which will save you a lot of time and effort, not forgetting the already outstanding manual retopology that 3D Code already has. Also, one of the aspects of 3D Code that I think most people would certainly find enjoyable is UV mapping and painting capabilities, which I can personally attest to which is something I can't say for many 3D applications I have used over the years. 
both the UV room and the paint room are intuitively designed and really easy to use with a whole assortment of brushes, masks, shapes, smart materials, etc. As well as support for multiple texturing approaches such as P-Tax and Micro-Vortex. UV mapping in particular saw a lot of love in this release, improving the auto UV mapping and packing which is a huge time saver. 3D Coat also offers a 3D Coat Textura, which is a stripped down version of 3D Coat that is tailored exclusively to texture painting of 3D models and rendering. It offers a lot faster loading time due to its lightweight and its support of all major texturing techniques and approaches. 3D Coat also offers 3D Coat Print, which is a free version built specifically for people interested in 3D printing. And if this is not enough, 3D Coat has an extensive asset library called PBR Library, where you can get a ton of materials, textures, models, brushes, alphas, and much more. Furthermore, in this latest version, Pilgway also introduced a ton of minor updates and features such as the addition of ACES tone mapping. Now you can enjoy ACES directly in the viewport. A new feature called Color to Bump which helps you capture smaller details in the process of photogrammetry. We also have a new robust bevel tool, a new curve tool, a new core API, improved shaders, the ability to export GLTF, and a lot more. You can check our last video about 3D Code 2022 to learn more about these features and details. If you are on the fence about 3D Code and you want to try it for yourself, 3D Code offers a 30 day free trial to test it and see for yourself firsthand. If you are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.